such disrespect on the things of God, on the commandment of God. My God, my God. We too are concerned. Yes, yes, yes. And many of us have been praying. Yes. And many of us have become frustrated. And some of us, like a pack. Oh my want God. to question God. God. Yes, yes. How long? How Lord? long? How long until this situation is changed? How long until injustice is avenged? We've been praying, but why is violence oh still prevailing oh in my. the land? Yes, yes. And so as Habakkuk continues to question, to question. God answers. <laughs> and he says to Habakkuk, you're not going to have to wait very long oh my, my. for the answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because this is what I'm going to do. Come on, come you on. You see, I am going to send uh -huh. the fierce, uh -huh. ruthless uh -huh. Babylonians, uh -huh. the Chaldeans, uh -huh. will be my chastening rod to scourge Judah. Oh my my. And the Baka becomes more perplexed. <laughs> He's more troubled because he doesn't understand as his burden becomes more heavy. <laughs> He's more confused and he begins to question the wisdom of, God. of the sovereign <laughs> God. He said, but God how can you stand these evil, treacherous, wicked men? Your eyes are too holy to look at evil. And you cannot stand the sight of people doing wrong. God, oh, my, my, my. why are you allowing a people who are more wicked than oh, we are to destroy us? Oh, oh, you are pure Jesus. and holy. The Babylonians are wicked people. <laughs> They catch people with hooks as though they were fish. Uh, they drive them off in nets and shout for joy over their catch. They even worship their nets and offer sacrifices to them. God, what are you doing? And then he comes to himself and he says, okay, see, I know you are sovereign. And so what I'm going to, and you have to answer me. Somehow you're going to answer, but while I wait, I'm going to climb up uh -huh. to my watchtower. Uh -huh. And I'm going to wait to see what you will say and then what I'm going to respond. Or how I'm going to respond. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. And so as he waits, the answer comes in one of the grandest declarations in scripture. Oh, my. God says to Habakkuk, <laughs> Habakkuk. Right vision. The just uh, yeah, shall, shall live, live by their faith. By their faith. Come on. In other words, the righteous shall be preserved in the day of trouble because they dare to trust me. And then the answer concludes with a command. Oh yes, yes. For universal silence uh -huh. before the sovereign God. Yes, yes. The Lord. Is in his holy temple. Yes, yes. Let all the earth yes. keep silent before him. <laughs> Tobacco suddenly recognizes his own weakness uh -huh. and low standing before the God of all majesty yes. and power. Yes. The prophet remembers that the Babylonians are coming and that this God of sovereign power and majesty is directing their work against Judah. He knows that the God of majesty and power is not diminished because man face, faces difficult trials. Oh my God. Sometimes we think that because we're facing difficulties Jesus. that God is not there. Jesus. And we say, if God is so great oh. and powerful, how come I'm going through this? Oh, Jesus. God, how come you are sovereign and you are holy? How come? Don't you see the, the, the crisis that I'm in? Oh, Can't you see the Jesus. situation that Jesus. I'm faced with? I'm going through a hard time. 
Oh, Jesus. Habakkuk knew this was the wrong question and the wrong attitude. And so instead he says, I know you are strong and mighty. Oh, yes. And if we are in a desolate circumstance, uh -huh. it is because we deserve it. Yes, yes. I will praise you. Yes, yes, yes. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. In you. Yes. Knowing God's strength. Habakkuk could trust God yes. even in a crisis. Yeah. He saw those problems for what they were and remembered that God was greater than the problems. And so in chapter 1, Habakkuk was low. He starts off on a low note. He's disturbed and troubled. By the time we get to chapter 2, he's climbed up to his watchtower yes, and yes, he's waiting yes. for God uh, to yes, speak. Yes. And then in chapter 3, we see a different Habakkuk, a different attitude because recognizing and remembering the sovereignty and the power yes, and the yes. might of his God, he begins to praise him. Yes. Assured that righteousness of the triumph of yes. the prophet lifts his heart in prayer that God will again do a mighty work yes, as he yes. had done in the past. Uh -huh. After picturing the majestic splendor My of God. the omnipotent God, Habakkuk reaffirms his confidence in the God of his salvation. Yes, yes. In one of the most moving confessions oh my, my, in the my. Bible. Yes. Although the fig tree oh my, my, my. does not blossom. Come on. Come on. Even though the fig tree has no fruit. Hallelujah. And I'm depending on, on the, the fig, fig tree. tree for food. Come on, Elder. And no grapes grow on the vines. Come Even on. though the olive fades and fields produce no crop. Even though the cattle stalls are empty, I will still be joyful because the Lord is my Savior. Yes, the yes. sovereign God gives me strength. He will make my feet like high feet and keep me safe on the mountain. In other words, Habakkuk is saved. I reach a point now where I can't trust the fig tree because the fig tree may not produce the way I expect it to. You see, no Habakkuk. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The majority of persons depend on crawfish to make a living. It's big in Habakkuk, this, this part. Come on. But I looked at the newspaper uh -huh. and I questioned people. I saw that the crawfish <laughs> is not coming in like, like they used yeah, to. The wealth of the sea oh my God. has disappeared yeah. seemingly. Yeah. Hallelujah. My God. And it is more difficult now to find jobs than it used before. to be. Yes, yes. Some people used to hold down three jobs. Now they can't find one. Yes. <laughs> but the question is, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. can we trust God we trust? Oh, go. in the midst of trials? Come on, come on. Come on. Can we rejoice in God when there is no crawfish and when there is no joy? Can we rejoice when everything seems to be crumbling? Ah, yes, yes. In the midst of sickness. In the midst of tragedy. Ah, Jesus. Can we still praise God? Trust yeah, 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 in the sovereign yeah, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I, I, I witnessed uh -huh. and it stayed with me. Elder Black went through a tragedy and I was on the scene. Uh -huh. And when she arrived, everybody just expected her to fold up. But you know what I saw? I saw a woman in travail. I saw a woman giving God praise. All I heard coming out of her belly was God. Uh -huh. mm. Can we 
trust him. Let me trust him. When it seems that all is lost, uh, when we can't yes. see our way, when everything crumbles. Oh my God. <laughs> oh Jesus. We must remember that God is not limited. No, he isn't. He's Jehovah Jireh. He will provide, but we've got to trust we gotta him. We've got to trust him. Our confidence must be in him. Yes, yes. And so then, what are some of the principles uh -huh. that we can learn from a uh -huh. experience? Uh -huh. One, God sometimes seems to be inactive, but he's involved. Yes. Have you ever waited for God? right here and now and did it. Have you been in that state where God you fail me? I've been trusting you. Uh -huh. But you see God sometimes hides yes, he does. himself. Yes he does. And he hides himself yes. because he wants us to find him. Yes, he yes. wants us Seek after him, yes, David yes, says, yes. like the dead yeah, pants pants for the water brooks. Yes. For the water brooks. Uh huh. My soul pants. Yes, yes, yes. After you. Uh huh. You see, God knew that the Babylonians were ruthless uh -huh. and destructive, yeah. but God knew just what He was doing. Doing. Yes, yes, yes. Secondly, we learned that God is holy. Uh -huh. Habakkuk said that God cannot approve evil. <laughs> and this should be a sobering thought yes, yes. to us as we struggle with temptations, mm. sins, yeah. and bad habits yeah. in our own lives. Wow. Thirdly, God hears and answers prayers. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we've got to believe so that when we pray, believing the word says that whatever we ask, yes, we will have yes. if we believe. Uh -huh. God is just and good. He will judge the wicked and he is concerned for the righteous. Uh -huh. And so the righteous must live, live by, by faith. faith. And faithfulness. Yes, yes. This means we must really believe God. We must believe his word. We must believe that he's good and just. And we must live accordingly. And so today, God wants to remind us uh -huh. again that he is sovereign. That he is righteous. And that we can trust him. He can be counted on to come through yes, yes. for us. Yes. Oh, us my God. God is with us. And I've been saying this for some time because I, I want to just instill it in the hearts of God's people. God is, is with, with you. Us. You belong yes. to him. He is with you oh, in every situation, Jesus. in every circumstance. Yes, yes, yes. Even though you may not feel him, him or see him, him. Yes. he's there. Hallelujah. Even when there is no food. He is there. My Can God. you believe him? He's there. He's there. And because he's with us, God Emmanuel, God with us. Oh. Because he is with us. He will not allow us to be brought to shame yes. or disgrace. For yes. when the enemy comes in like yes. a flood, the word yes. says yes. that the spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard against the enemy. My God. God is with us. Yes, he is. He wants to remind us that we're not to focus on the natural. Not to focus on what we see. Because if we focus on what we see, we're not going to trust him. We must look beyond My Lord. what we see and focus on what his word says. Uh -huh. You see, God is a God of time yes, yes. and seasons. Yes. 
And I believe 